Okay, guys. It's been long enough. Today is Yo versus Ichigo. Now, I was going to do this with somebody else. And we're going to talk about who can possibly win with a, you know, a more Ichigo expert. But I've been stalling long enough. And I should get down to who would actually win this. So, let's get into the video, shall we? Now, I should go over, for those who don't know who Yo is, Yo Asakura, from Shaman King. Because everybody knows who the fuck Ichigo is at this point. I shouldn't explain who the fuck Ichigo is. He's been long. He's he's been around long enough for y'all to know. So I'm gonna start with Yo Asakura. So Yo Asakura is the main character of the Shaman King series, and pretty much he's a boy that wants to become Shaman King. Why? Well, he just wants to be at ease. He wants to have an easy life. That's the only reason. And on the side, he's trying to stop his bro, Ohio, from destroying the planet. So, yeah, pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much the premise. So, what can this so-called character do? For those who don't know who, you know, Yo and his capabilities, Yo is, is fighting against Ichigo because basically they are the same type of of the same people that could use the same type of spiritual energy. Except for, you know, Shaman King being Bleach before Bleach even was a thing. That kind of deal. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bleach came out first. But you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Now, within this series, there are Furyuku. Uh, Furyuku. Fur this is what pretty much is spiritual power. Or the measurement of how much spiritual power a shaman possessed at birth. The higher the uh, fur crew, fur yoku, the more powerful they become. Keep that in mind. Now, every little thing is giving a fixed measure of fur yoku. Jesus Christ. I'm fur yoku. Fuck. Fur yoku. Fur yoku. Fur yoku. Shit. It's going to be hard to pronounce this, okay? Fucking dyslexic is a bitch. So, for Yoku, like I said, is the measurement of how spiritual power a shaman possesses. Every living thing has a fixed measure of for, for Yoku at birth and upon their death. That's like that power is given back to the great spirit. I'll get into what the great spirit is later. Now, it pretty much grants shamans the ability to perform oversoul to give physical form to their spirits. And as long as Yo has um, pretty much Furyoku, incoming damage from the enemies is lessened, especially if his Furyoku is higher than that of his opponents. But if the opponent is more powerful, Yo will take damage and can even be killed by their attacks. So basically, for Yoku is pretty much, it's kind of like spiritual pressure, but yeah, it's basically just like that. Now, by recovering from a near death or actual physical death, Yo for Yoku increases drastically and becomes even much more powerful than before. So if he becomes near death, it's just like a Zenkai boost from Dragon Ball, and he becomes even more powerful. So, I'm pretty sure Ichigo has to kill him immediately, because if he goes near death, he will become even more stronger, and he's going to have a more harder time to, uh, to actually damage him. So, yeah. Now, he can sense other people's Furyoku, because everybody is pretty much born with it. And Yo's gentle Furyoku can deflect incoming Furyoku attacks and render them ineffective. Yes. He can deflect pretty much spiritual power. Yeah. <laughs> and look, people, look, people. It can also enchant the strength and durability of his weapons by involving them with Furoku. So pretty much he's fueling them with spiritual pressure. Now, when concentrated, 
Fryoku can be used to protect the user's body with an oversoul that can act as a spacesuit to survive in outer space, but prevents the shaman from fighting at full capacity. So yeah, makes sense. Now he can focus Fryoku into a single point to make his attack stronger or protect against damage. However, this runs the risk of using up all of his spiritual power all at once. So yeah, keep that, yeah. Now he can one out if he takes too much damage, but if like if the Oversoul is damaged, or by using too much energy during battle, so he can run out. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Can't just use a limited amount of it. Now he can heal people by transfer this energy into them, and it's not gonna be confused by Rear Roku, Rear Yoku, which is a spiritual, where well, it's a spirit's own personal power, pretty much, yeah. So spirits even have this. Now, what is his abilities here? Since pretty much he does have Furoku, and I'll explain what Furoku is. Now as a shaman, Yo has the ability to bridge the gap between the physical world and the supernatural world. He was trained by his family since childhood to continue the As Asakura's legacy and also to prepare the next shaman you know, fight. He can put himself into a trance state to communicate with the gods, spirits, or souls of the dead directly. And by borrowing their powers, shamans can perform deeds such as healing the sick, the injured, govern people, and convey words to the living of the dead. And unlike normal humans, shamans can see and interact with spirits and ghosts naturally as they are as physical beings. Now, when something bad happens to people who can see spirits, Yo can sense it even from far away. So he has good spiritual presence or awareness. Now, if a shaman is powerful enough, they can resist possession from lower level spirits unless they can allow themselves to be controlled. So possession, yeah, possession resistance. Now he can also can channel spirits through his body to attain their skills, knowledge, and can sense even other spiritual energy as well. So no matter if y'all can say, oh, well, each goes invisible, it doesn't matter. He can see spirits and he can even sense it if you want to use it. Now, when this was in the anime, but in the anime, having his soul absorbed by Yo, how yo, or yo, ho, 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 fuck. I'm gonna say a ho, 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 fuck. His brother, pretty much. Pretty much, he has his soul, is all about his brother. And yo, somehow, was able to escape and return his body. So, pretty much, he had soul absorption and resistance there. Now, he also has a great mediumship. Because he can sense the presence of abnormal spirits, whatever they have strong emotions they may feel, such as vengeance. So, yeah, you pretty much sense killing intention as well. <laughs> he has good swordsmanship, so he should be going good against Ichigo here. Now, he has an incredible mental fortitude. Now, what does this mean? Is that he could walk through a cave in complete darkness for an entire week. A situation that has made many shamans go before him insane and die. But he still remained a user easy going self. So pretty much that's kind of like madness, manipulation, resistance. Uh, he also regained consciousness after having 5.6 billion worth of memories awakened within his genes by the great spirit. And when some people would have be unable to recover with such experience, so yeah, that's pretty much yeah. Mental abilities is it's gonna be tough for me, so just just to tell you now. Now he's gonna use me using spirits within this battle because he can use spirits and to fight with their power. So which he has Amidamaru, Amidamaru, yes. Pretty much Aminamaru is his guardian on um, ghost and closest companion. This dude, this is a legendary samurai was 600 years ago and gained a bad reputation for killing a group of soldiers causing him to know as the demon. He's a master swordsman. He, he falls to quote a bow judo. 
He wears a pair of katanas in battle, and because he's a spirit, he can fly. Invisible to normal humans, he can face the walls. The spirit fly, he's much more unique than the other guys. Um, pretty much, he can possess Joe's body to provide him with his skills and abilities. Right? Skills and abilities. So, yeah. Since he's already dead, Amina Maru cannot die through conventional means and can heal from nearly any injury, such as being sliced in half or being shot by bullets. So, yeah, I mean, he's a sword, he's a spirit, of course, it doesn't make any sense. It's already dead. Uh, now, he can also sense killing intentions and spirits of power from others. And he can remember how he originally looked after evolving into a higher spirit, which allows him to turn back to normal at will. So, yeah, he became like a higher spirit or a more powerful spirit, you want to say? Now, he has to also have the spirit of Earth. Spirit of Earth is one of the grand, five grand elemental spirits in Yo's most powerful main spirit. It holds a portion of the great spirit's power. It's uh, made from the aggression of souls. Cable of flight and levitations over four stories tall. It can regenerate from damage to the point of regrowing several limbs. Uh, it's strong enough to easily overpower uh, CRI class spirits and impel humans with its fingers. Durable enough to withstand one kiloton of, like, of nuclear bomb. Strong enough, uh, pretty much grows stronger by devouring souls. Gives life to plants and creates metal. Can, and he can manifest its entire body, pretty much used as, a, as an oversoul, and can manipulate gravity to the point of redirecting meteors and counteracting the gravity of a black hole. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good shit. He's also been able to create earthquakes, but he never actually tried to do that, so yeah. Now, let me explain what the fuck is an Oversoul. An Oversoul is a variant of Hiyu Gatidi. Jesus, I butcher that. Where Yo places his spirit into a physical medium, achieving a far amount of power. By this method, the spirit becomes a tangible being who can affect the physical world, either as a weapon or they have their entire being materialized into the real world. At their core, Oversouls are still spirits, so they're most they're mostly immune to normal attacks, and must be harmed with another Oversoul. So yeah, this is the same thing with the whole uh, Gojo, um, not Gojo, fucking Jojo stuff. Oversouls are pretty much invincible to physical attacks. There's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing. If you try to attack them, it won't work. It, w it, it, it would not. They can only be hurt by another Oversoul. Oversouls can face through weapons that is not enchanted by Furuku, allowing the user to directly harm opponents during battle, even if they are blocked. Now, an Oversoul is a body made of energy. And it's, it's the energy created by Furuku. And as long as the Oversoul isn't destroyed, no Furoku is used at all. In fact, they can use this as long as they want. So good luck with that. And not only that, but Oversouls can be used by uh, Christians to protect against huge faults. Uh, including like a 40,000 foot long drop and surviving falling down the cliff. So yeah, these are Oversouls. Now... There's also one thing that it can do. One thing it specializes in. And this is Furoku Nullification. This means Yo has the ability to cancel out Furoku attacks from his opponent by using his own energy as an invisible barrier. Yes, this barrier can nullify any spiritual power or attack like nothing. Especially if they're more powerful. Now, Yo also has this one thing as well. He has the Fuman, to 
Fumanto Fumanto Ton Cole. Fumanto Cole. There we go. Fuck. Sorry. I'm sorry you have to hear that. Now, this is one of the techniques you'll learn from the con con contents of Cho Shinji that Ana brought to him. And it allows one to read the flow of Furuku and determine its course. Basically, allowing them to predict any opponent's move and react accordingly. It's effective using. Uh, to render most Furoku attacks useless, but however, it's not it's not useful against opponents that who can hide their Furoku, and it's rendered ineffective if the opponent is too fast. So yeah, there's that. There's also one thing. Uh, yeah, it, it, I'm gonna say one thing a lot, but there's also another thing he can do, is that it was a secret from Exorcist uh, move left for Yo. And it's allowed him to vanquish unis or demons. Yes. Um, pretty much, this technique depletes the reserve Furuku. But as a result, it sends pretty much the person to hell. It sends them to hell. This attack sends them to hell. Yes. Now, for the ultimate thing. That's going to tie these things around. Yo's ultimate technique. Used by his oversoul spirit of sword. By Yokuo. By Yaku. Which is used the power of purification. To cancel out the opponent's Furuku. And when the attack. <coughs> <coughs> and when attacking the opponent. With this sword. Or simply being close, pretty much close proximity of them, Yo can purify the opponent's very soul and convert the Furuku into nothing, into nothingness, without even needing to inflict physical damage to them. This ability can be used passively to prevent Yo himself from being affected by any offensive of abilities used by the opponent's oversoul, such as pretty much a gravity manipulation. Now, the main drawback of the technique is that it only works on spirits in Furuku. It cannot fend off a, uh, in a technique that's beyond Yo's capacity. That's it. Yeah. That's OP. As hell. Now, there's also, he can just sing a song that's basically, that it copies, it pretty much copies the effects of the patch song. This song increases the Furuku and overall spiritual strength of whoever sings it. And used by Ro, it used by Yo to go pretty much overwhelm and defeat the Tan Patch officials. So pretty much by singing, he just becomes stronger. Jesus Christ, this kid is a little bit OP. Now there's like, I guess like a few things of his oversouls he has. Uh, pretty much, I'm gonna be using the strongest ones he ever shown. Like he can use pretty much oversouls that's the size of giants, or a giant blade, or pretty much the biako. Yeah, yeah, biako. Yeah, I said that right. That pretty much is an armor type oversoul. He's like, he, yeah, he's has an armor type oversoul, a giant type oversoul. Uh, a giant weapon types oversoul, spirit type oversouls, weapon type oversouls, armor type, weapon weapon type oversoul, which is a giant blade, and he has the spirit type oversoul, which is pretty much has the portions of the the um great spirit, great spirit, and I want to go over what the great spirit is. The great spirit is pretty much God, yes. The great, the great spirit is God, God of the universe. Any any spirit within the universe goes to that person. They control everything within the universe, even the higher dimension, which is pretty much like uh, say it's 4D, as a 4D dimension. Yep, and creates a universe inside of it. So yeah, has a portion of that power. Yeah, and he has um, you know gravity manipulation. So that's yo people. That's yo Asakura. And yeah, he's a formidable foe. Now we're gonna move on to Ichigo. Ichigo, uh, 
people, y'all should know who Ichigo is and what he can do at this point. This whole, there's like countless videos of Ichigo. Like, like, should I really do this? I mean, sure, he has like spiritual awareness and um, spiritual energy manipulation, projection. Uh, I guess he has different separate entities or different type of personalities on the sword. He can turn into a hollow. Um, what else? Like, I guess he has some kind of immortality. Yeah. Regeneration. Because he's a spirit. Soul manipulation. Shimigamis can damage souls with their Zenbakuto. I mean, there's also the overwhelming aura, which is spiritual pressure that can paralyze and even kill others, but that will not work against you So, yeah, that's also that. Uh, he's able to withstand the effects of um, Aizen's uh, Black Coffin, which is able to warp space and time, so I guess that. Yeah, I, I mean, that's all what we got going for him. I mean, except for the whole Tensei, Tensho, whatever the fuck that move is called. Ginsuga Tensho, there we go. Ginsuga Tensho. I mean, that's all we got going for him. Like, wh wh what else do y'all want? Be what else do y'all want? I mean, sure, you can scale him to being, I, I guess, like galaxy level and uh, like most continental to galaxy level, plane level, stuff like that. You, you you can scale him to that, but um. Honestly, people, what the fuck does Ichigo go to do against him? Like, what, what is he gonna do against y'all? Because, look, 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 you know what? We're just gonna get into the battle here. Because, like, it, it, it baffles me. They, some people, they argue that, oh, well, well, Ichigo will win. How? By going Bankai? That won't make a difference. Y'all could just go into, use his Oversouls. And he cannot damage him at all. And we know that, pretty much, he has spiritual presence. On spiritual pressure and spiritual abilities, you know, there's they're not reaching them, like <laughs> they're not. Especially since yo is basically high universal plus. You really think he has a chance against yo the strongest? Well, he's not the strongest character in the series, but you didn't get what I mean. I'm about to get over the thing is what this means, right? How is yo high universal? Oh, not universal. High universal plus, right? Now we're gonna scale into yo, which is brother who became the shaman king. If we use Yo's whole statement of the universe being infinite, then we should make it the um, the five elementals spirits being high universal because they're comparable to a big bang made of infinite you made of an infinite universe. The great spirit completely towers over them, making how easily high universal extra casually because since his true self is existing in a higher dimension like the fourth dimension you can ar argue universal plus high so like yeah so pretty much high universal and universal plus higher yeah yeah pretty much right pretty much they fought him in this um higher dimension as well and they pretty much survived they even survive a fucking supernova to the face an explosion that can consume entire galaxies they just took this point blank in the face um, they can survive a black hole. He can reverse the gravity of black hole. Yo, you really? Yo, what the fuck is Ichigo going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Ichigo is useless here. Anything he does is useless. He can literally just stand. Look, yo can just stand there and nullify every single fucking spiritual ability he has used. And he can. It doesn't make a damn difference. Nothing. Sure, if you say, okay, you know what? Let me use my swords then. I will use my swords. Ha, I'll take this and that. What the fuck? Dude. He can just manipulate the gravity. He, look, he manipulates the gravity of a black hole. This is a black hole that is the collapsed sun that can destroy entire galaxies. There's no fucking way he, uh, Ichigo is going to escape that shit. I'm sorry. He's not. He's not escaping that. 
He like, like yo would not have to try. Any attack we would do, he just get blocked. Now look, this will exactly how it will go down. Any spiritual effect on yo will get nullified. If he use physical attacks, he can't not hurt the Oversoul with physical attacks. There's no fucking way they can do that. So, what the fuck is yo? Yo is gonna one shot this dude. With this a special ability, he's gonna one shot him. If he use the Mumu Yoku Yoku Mu, it's over. It's over. He can literally destroy him, turning him into nothingness. He can delete all of his spiritual powers to nothingness. And Ichigo gonna be oh he's gonna be just like how he was when Final Gensuga T show. Powerless. Able to do nothing. Able to do nothing. This works only on spirits and fruit group. Spirits and spiritual power. What is Ichigo? The spirit! Wow, there's no way he's gonna fucking deal with it. Yo wins, okay? Yo will actually murder stump Ichigo. I don't care what y'all think. There's no way. Sure, I mean, yeah, you can say that Ichigo is a lot faster than um Yo, but that's all that's going for him is speed. And there's no way the speed will make a difference to a person that can literally nullify any attack just by standing there. I'm sorry, but no. Anyway, people, that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks so much for 700 subscribers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you disagree, join my Discord. We can talk about it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.